Start the fight by running on the boss and dealing some damage before he starts attacking. In general, you want to be up close and aggressive for this fight. When he jumps up in the air to body slam, run away, and then grapple back to the boss to deal some damage. If you're up close, when he slams his arm down, just move a bit to the left side to avoid it and attack him. If he does these little stomps with his left foot and then his right foot, just block them since they're super hard to avoid. For his big stomp with his right foot, you can either run sharply around him to get behind or just block it. When you see the little red indicator, jump up to avoid his charge. Then immediately run towards him to avoid the fireballs. If he does a long range slasher instead, run to the side and then jump right as he slams down. Avoid his two fire swings by being as close to him as you can and then block his kick before jumping backwards to avoid his next swing. Then run at him to get a hit or two to punish. During his second phase, he'll do this homing attack, just run to the side to avoid it. Immediately at the end of his second phase, use the Divine Confetti since he's weak to it. Then blow the Malcontent Whistle to stun him before going in for a lot of damage. You can use a whistle up to 3 times here, but keep in mind that it doesn't work when he's airborne. Okay, and those are all my tips for this boss. If you need help finding the whistle, stay tuned. Follow my path from the first Ashina Depths idol. In the cavern, defeat the Headless Ape. Divine Confetti, along with a spear to pull his centipede out, will help you a lot in the fight. Then rest at the idol and travel back to the first Ashina Depths idol. Return to where you fought the ape to defeat the Shikaman Warrior to get the Malcontent's Ring. Finally, upgrade to the Malcontent's Whistle using the Malcontent Ring. Alright, and that's it for this guide. Thanks for watching and see you next time.